ATM and debit card users now have some new protection tonight. A federal rule that helps prevent you from being hit with multiple and expensive overdraft fees. In tonight's segment two, two news problem solver Michelle Lowry tracks down expert information from a banking insider about how the rule works. So these numbers are just... Yeah. For Jim Klaus, using his debit card... Walgreens, we had to buy some medicine. And then Walmart, I got some groceries. And spending just a little more than he had in his checking account snowballed into more than $500 in overdraft fees. Jim is certainly not alone. Each insufficient fund fee ranges from $20 to $40, depending on where you bank. The Federal Reserve says banks pull in between $25 to $38 billion in overdraft fees each year. In the past, some banks chose to deduct big payments first, followed by smaller payments, even though those small transactions happened earlier, thereby collecting the highest number of overdraft charges. Tulsa-based Regent Bank CEO Sean Copeland says it's been an unfair industry trick. In many ways, uh, it has been abused, and uh, banks will structure the payment of checks in a way so that it maximizes the fees that a client will pay, that's not right. That's why the Fed put the new regulation into effect. Customers must now choose. Have an ATM or debit card purchase declined by your bank if you don't have the money in your account, or tell the bank to go ahead and let you spend even if it will result in overdraft charges. Now, when a client chooses to use their check card or ATM card and overdraw their account, they know they're doing that. There's lots of disclosure. It's not a trick. July 1st marks when all brand new customers must decide whether to opt in. If you're an existing customer, you have to decide by August 15th. It's up to the bank how to handle notifying customers of the change and recording their preference. Klaus supports the new rule and would rather be cut off in the checkout lane than face hundreds of dollars in fees. That would be a little embarrassing also, but I think that would be a better situation than this one. We were able to work with Jim's bank to get most of the $567 in fees waived, and now... There are more protections in place, so a small mistake doesn't end in a huge financial headache. Michelle Lowry, 2 News works for you. Michelle, thanks. Now, most banks also offer the protection of linking to accounts. So if you overdraw your checking account, the bank will sweep money from your savings to cover the purchase. That usually only costs you a few dollars rather than a hefty overdraft charge. Now, you will find all the details on this story in the Problem Solver section of KJRH.com.